going on guys? Pretty King here, back again for another video, and today we are back with some more Blightfall. Now, last time we left off, we got started with some very basic tech, and uh, I want to continue that a little bit, and I kind of want to get a little more into Thomcraft today, maybe some basic Botania, I don't know, we're going to play this episode by ear. So, in between this episode and last episode, I meant to record an episode where we got a little bit more technical, but I did not hit record, because your boy is stupid. So, we got some more machines. I got a fluid transposer, a magma crucible, and an induction smelter. I upgraded our pipes, or uh, our flux ducts, to redstone energy flux ducts. And, uh, we got the first of, uh, four laser drill prechargers. I'm currently working on the second right now. These things eat energy. We're not going to be able to run this for a while. We're going to need a really big reactor to support that. Uh, but basically, how I've been getting the pink slime is I created this auto spawner. And uh, I'll just go over some craft recipes real quick. Because all of this was pretty, pretty cheap to make with the resources we got. So, induction smelter was just a whole lot of invar. I got plenty of invar. Uh, magma crucible, more invar and some nether brick. Just cooked up some of the... Another rack I got from mining at the volcano. Fluid transposer was just some copper. So it was pretty cheap to get those. Uh, the precharger is the same thing as the laser drill. We made that on camera getting technical. So the precharger is the same as this, just with the pink slime crystal. So just working towards more of that. Uh, the big thing, uh, if I head to Mine Factory... Um, I, I believe I mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. I did get more rubber saplings. I opened like 21, 22 more of those seed bags. I burned through all the Prometheum. And once I got one sapling, I just planted it, bone milled it, and started doing this, just breaking the leaves. Yep, until I got a rubber sapling. So now we have several rubber trees and a handful more saplings up in storage. So we don't have to worry about rubber anymore. Turns out we got super unlucky with that harvester the last time I used it and it didn't drop a sapling. So, <laughs> super unlucky on our part. Um, what I did, uh, got some power here. It'll probably be in a second, yeah. I made a mob farm with the sinister node, because the sinister ore node right there is in the obsidian tile, and it spawns those furious zombies. So, what I did was, uh, <laughs> yep. I made a grinder, and yeah, here it is. Grinder's really cheap. Some plastic, a piston, a book, a gold sword, and some more of the machine blocks, which is just some stone and plastic. And since we got those rubber trees, plastic's not an issue. So I made this grinder. Uh, the auto spawner was pretty cheap, too. I have, I have plenty of emeralds laying around. And uh, just some of the nether stuff, which was... Fine, we got some nether wart from when we went to that eerie island a couple episodes back. Magma cream was pretty cheap, just got some slime balls. Uh, yeah, there was a there was a slime tree, it was one of the trees I got out of those 20 sapling bags trying to get new, uh, new rubber. It also didn't drop a sapling, unfortunately, but I got some slime balls from it, which was helpful. And uh, yeah, I've just been basically AFKing this thing for essence. And then I've been using that essence on the mob farm, or the, the mob spawner. So, we got a lot of rotten flesh, I've just been throwing it up in this chest. But, uh, yeah, I've been feeding the essence I got from the sinister node, since the sinister node is basically just a zombie, uh, zombie spawner, basically. So, been getting the essence, been feeding it to the, the auto spawner to spawn cows, and the slaughterhouse kills it for meat and uh, pink slime. I'm currently working the old uh, hardened flux ducts that we had before I upgraded. I've been trying to run them over here to the main power. Since the grinder doesn't need much power. And I upgraded all the cables here to the redstone tier. So just working on that slowly but surely. <clears throat> Another thing I found out while on the, on the grind for pink slime. Uh, let me... You can, with this, with this straw from Mine Factory, you can drink the liquid meat. And as you can see, it restored my health bar to full, or not health bar, my hunger bar to full hunger and saturation. 
So that's really, really good. It also does not suffer from the diminishing returns that Spice of Life brings. So this is just an infinite source of food that I, that all you just need is a straw for, just infinite food source. It's really, really good. So we're running low on fuel in this reactor because it's been running so long to keep these machines going. Uh, the induction smelter's been doing a good job making me steal. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to get a cyanite reprocessor. So if we go to if we go to big reactors, I want to make this the cyanite reprocessor. So this is going to be a little bit of reactor casing, redstone pistons, and fuel rod. And the fuel rods and the casings take some Eulerium ingots. I got a couple. I only found a couple of ore. So, another thing I did do, and this was something that was supposed to be off camera between this episode and the episode I forgot to record, was I did go to the volcano, mined up a bunch of uh, nether ores so I could get manulin. So now I have an extreme mining level so I can mine pretty much everything in the game now. Because yellow, yellow right ore is an alien mining level. So I need to get better tools in order to uh, order to get that. But that is not a problem anymore. So grab these. Grab some iron and some redstone. But yeah, I, uh, I took care of that. Basically, if you want to go up that tree, it's pretty simple. Once you have mining, once you have a steel pickaxe, you should be able to upgrade it to Ardite, if I remember my path I took correctly. It should be Ardite, because then Ardite gives you the super diamond mining level to mine cobalt. Then you mine some more Ardite, and then mix the Cobalt and Ardite in the smeltery to make Manulin, and then you got Manulin. So, it wasn't too hard, just a little bit time-consuming, but I'm glad that that's taken care of. Uh, this needs just one fuel rod. I don't want to burn all my stuff. Got uh, I need two pistons. I need reactor casing. I can make a craft of that. And this should be sweet. The cyanite reprocessor. I'm prepared. How much steel do I have in here? I made sure to get like a lot of it. Yeah. Got plenty of steel. I've just been kind of been making it with the iron I got in supply. Mine some coal. It's really simple at this point now to make steel. It's not hard. Just throw some coal into the pulverizer to get coal dust. Mm -hmm. Then some pulverized coal and some iron make some steel. So... We have steel on good supply now. The big thing, uh, I'll put the cyanite reprocessor here. Uh, I need to fill that with water. Sweet, I can just bucket that in for now. Uh, definitely want to make a better source of water. In fact, while we're here, I'll make an infinite water pool behind it just for the time being. And that'll be just fine for now. And yeah, I can just bucket it in for now. I'll eventually make an aqueous accumulator from thermal expansion. Just we have automatic water for any machines that require it. Uh, just a couple more buckets. Okay, sweet. So this is really good. <clears throat> so that basically gives our fuel a second life. So anytime we get cyanite now, just put it in the cyanite reprocessor. A little bit of water and some cyanite, that'll make us plutonium. And that is another source of fuel. So that is huge. Uh, ooh, I think it's a 2 to 1 ratio, though. I thought it was 1 to 1. Uh, plutonium. Mm, yeah, I guess it's a... Uh, I guess it's a 2 to 1. 
Anyways, that's all right. That's still a whole extra bit of fuel, which is really helpful. And I still have a, a s one final Yalorium that needs to come out before. So I can get at least one more plutonium. But that's still good. That's still extra fuel. Keep this reactor online for longer. So the big thing, and I want to work mm. on this in between this episode and next episode too, get more Yalorium and make the reactor bigger. Mm. Obviously that means Yalorium ingots are going to be needed to make more reactor casing. Um, let's see. Mm. Let's do a little bit of math here. So I need two crafts of that. and I need two crafts of casing mm. and one craft of, of fuel rod to make that go up one more level. Uh, that's doable. I think we can do that. So if we do one of those. Actually, can we do it twice? Get two. And then if I say two fuel rods. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. So deactivate the reactor. If I remember how to do this correctly, I believe we can break the control rod and yeah the fuel stays in the fuel rod so as long as I don't break that fuel rod we're fine now I can just add this casing and add this there we go sweet so we just upgraded our reactor that is now an even bigger reactor. Yeah, oh yeah, that's making us even more RF per tick now. It was at about 20. Now we're making 51. Almost 52. So that's really good. So that's already a nice small upgrade. And I'm just going to continue to do that. I want to make it wider as well so we can put some coolant in there. That way we can start cooling. I want to head to the to the glacier, get some packed ice, because packed ice is a pretty good coolant for the time being. And yeah, the cooler we can make this, it'll make even more power and be a little more fuel efficient. But all right, this is just a nice upgrade right there, a little bit bigger of a reactor. So that's huge. Uh, still nowhere near enough to even power one laser drill decently. But we'll make do with that. So with that out of the way, let's see what we can do next. Since I'm going to have to mine for a lot more Yellorium. Uh, let's see what we can do in Thomcraft because we do need to progress in that. This taint is getting out of hand. It's starting to spread back. I've been trying to stay on top of it with these ethereal blooms, but it's getting hard. So, let's let's whip out the old Athamanamakan, and let's see where exactly we can progress in Thomcraft. So, I think the big thing we've got to focus on is alchemy first. Um, definitely need to get over here to to clear taint. Um. I do want to get Essentia Crystallization because I did make a couple of Alembics and now Chemical Furnace off camera too. And this just allows us to smelt down objects for their aspects like this Basalt Cobblestone will give us. Yeah, I'll put it in actually. And that'll give us exactly uh, what it said it will. So uh, I don't have Goggles of Revealing, but there should be there should be Terra and, uh, and Ordo in there. So that's, uh, that one will give us two Terra. So that's basically what that's doing. So what I want to get is an Essentia Crystallizer, turn those into crystals. It'll make using the, uh, uh, the Crucible much easier without any overflow, excess Essentia or Flux that'll make more taint. So to get an Essentia Crystallizer, we're gonna need some Balance Shards. Balance shards is any one shard and then the other five aspects of the shard that it is not. So what 
are the aspects I can get the most of quickly is basically the question. I need at least one crystallizer for now. Ideally, I want to make two. I might make one on camera and another off camera because those things are kind of slow. So of all of our shards, I think the shards we got the most of are definitely the air shards. <clears throat> but for the balance shard, I got to find what gives us the most. So I know cobblestone is a good source of Terra and Perdicio. So that's handy. When it comes to Ordo... What can steel give? Steel gives Ordo. Um, yeah. Uh, mm, plastic gives Ordo, Ignis, and Perdicio too. What about redstone? That's Potentia. I, I mean... I mean, a source of Ordo is literally the Ordo Shards itself. So we might just want to do that. I have a lot of shards. So I need it's two and a shard, right? It's, yeah, it's two and a shard. Um, so that would get us six. Um, let me grab, uh, the, yeah, we still got some sugarcane in here. So sugar cane, let me scan that. Yeah, that's water and air. So, and it's one and one. So that's one shard, that's two shards. It's one shard, that's two shards. So that's already, see that's water, air, terra, and perdicio. So now what we need is a source of ignis. Which Netherrack has Ignis. Ooh, I can see my wand. <laughs> so Ignis from that. And then So well also that also has a source of a uh, Terra, but that's is what it is. So that's fire, earth, Perdicio, air, and water. So that's one, two, three. Four, five. So then all that needs is Ordo then. Yeah, that should be. Yeah, so if that's the case, then two Order Shards. And if we throw all that in here and I did everything correctly, it should be here, 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 here. Two Balance Shards. Sweet. Uh, we want to clear that out, and you see that's the that's the flux I was talking about. So we don't want to do that very often. That's why I want to get the crystallizers. We can put exact amounts of what we need in without any excess, because it creates all that flux. So that's two balance shards right there. So that's good. Now we need an alchemical construct. So that's going to need an essential tube. Okay. Essential tube. We'll make like two crafts. Uh, three, four. And we should still have some glass. Obviously, once I got my manual and pickaxe, I was able to mine obsidian. So that's how I was able to get some hardened glass for those flux ducts. In case you were wondering. And then a shimmer leaf, I can turn it into quicksilver and then quicksilver drops. So this should be, uh, oh, I need arcane work table. And, oh yeah, I can make this uh, third alembic that I had ready to go. I need more ascension, my wand. So if we make, there we go, some ascension tubes. I'm also going to put this alembic on top so I can make a third crystallizer actually. There we go. So that'll be good for later. You can stack up to five Olympics on top of one uh, 
one alchemical furnace. So I do want to get five eventually. And what we're going to do... Um, this is... Uh, okay, cool. Whatever. Don't need that right now. So we need alchemical construct. Right here, alchemical constructs. That is some filters, some great wood, some tubes, and some valved tubes. Thankfully, valve tubes are pretty easy to make. I just need a couple of this, a couple of those, and we'll just get. Come here. Ah, oh, we're out of ordo. No. I have to go around to all my ore nodes again and see where I can find them. I gotta make goggles of revealing, and I'll probably do uh, food as well. I try not to eat out of my lunchbox as much as possible. It's just kind of there for when I'm on the road and not near home. Since that's where I'll need to use the food in it the most that is affected by Spice of Life. But if possible, I'd just try to run over here and just... Come on. There we go. Just get a drink of the meat. So I guess we're running into the tank because I got to find some ore nodes that have ordo. Look at all this flux. Oh, tank's warm. Crap. Uh, ooh, what do we have in here? What's this node? Uh, air. Don't really need much air right now. What about this node? What are you? You're... Your water and air. More water is always nice. Uh, I need order so badly. Uh, guy. Making this clear for was the best thing ever since I can two shot basically everything. What about what about this node? Uh, fading and it's air. There's a lot of air nodes around our base. If you couldn't guess. Um, oh, here's another node. Is this one? Yep, more air. Again, lots of air. Um, yeah, I really need order. And yeah, that one's just more air. Uh, there should be an ore node inside the waterfall. Let me double check that. What are we looking for? Waterfall Lake. Yeah, because we had the, the cool secret thing right here that we found. Alright, and what is this ore node? Air and fire. That is not Ordo. We're just gonna we're just gonna continue on. Continue on the hunt. Um I'll be honest, I probably should just climb back up that waterfall and use the teleporter. Um I got an idea actually. Uh let's head to the I'll just have to run over here back to the marble shrine, but that's not the biggest deal. But let us Oh, here's a node. Uh, no, it's the same node. I'm just stupid. Let's go... Uh, where is it? It should be... Um, where is it? It should be like Silverwood Forest or something. Where is it? Where is it? Giant Silverwood. Oh, hi. Hi. Y'all are dead. Yeah, here. Alright. Here you are. Giant Silverwood. These most Silverwoods, like you can see right here, will have nodes inside them. And, oh, mana beans too? So many of you stupid things. Okay, mana bean. What is this one? Uh, Eider. Okay. 
Oh, hey, die. All right, let's, uh, I don't have my Matic on me. So we'll just have to punch, but that's fine. But we basically got to get to the core of these trees. And, oh, this one has two. That's huge. But hopefully one of these has Ordo in it. So I'm actually going to turn this into planks and start stairwelling up. That way we can access these nodes in the tree. So let us get a little bit of Ordo out of this one, hopefully. Alright, what's in this one? Ordo, there is some Ordo. Oh, huge. Oh, huge. There wasn't a lot, but there was little. And then this should be the next one. Yeah, right there. What's in that one? Oh, big Ordo. Big Ordo. Huge. Yeah, these trees can be a lifesaver. So that's more Ordo, so that's good. Just need to get up to it a little bit closer. Alright, I think that's close enough. I should be able to draw from it. Yes, I can. There we go. Sweet. So that is all we need there. We can get back to Biodome Alpha. I can throw up this extra sofa wood for now. And we are going to make that next valve. And then I need the V filters. Where did I throw those? Because I know I had some more of them around somewhere. Pretty sure I did, anyways. Hmm. Ah, no, give me that. I'll throw up that mana bean for later. I gotta go into that forest again. And just start hunting for mana beans big time. Because I'm gonna need them. Uh, oh, I have one filter. I need a second. How do I make those? Okay, some gold and uh, silver wood planks. Simple, simple, simple. Real simple. There we go. So just make a quick craft of them. And I think now all I need is a great wood plank. Great wood plank. Sweet. So, if that's everything, it is. Sweet. So what else do we need for this now? It should be a couple more of any type of plank, some iron, a dispenser. Dispenser. That's not hard. We just need to fetch ourselves a little string. Do I have any string downstairs? One, two, three. Yes, I do. Good. <clears throat> so we'll take care of that. Make ourselves... Make ourselves that display. Dispenser. There we go. Dispenser, and then I need two iron. And if that is everything like it should be, then if I get out, uh, there it is. Crystallizer. Uh, oh, planks, planks, planks. Any two planks work. Essential Crystallizer. There we go. Sweet. Let's take a quick sleep. And that's some really good progress. And I'm running out of time for this episode. But that is some huge progress. We're going to continue progressing like this. Did our... Where did our horses go? Where? Where's the one that had the... Had the horse armor? Oi, buddy, get your sorry stinking rear end. You too, get your stinking rear end over here. How do you break free from the lead? Get back over here. 
All right, so now I'm going to take a quick, uh, quick drink of meat. That sounds so weird to say. But we're going to take, take a quick drink of this to get our hunger back. There we go. And actually, I do want to put a valve. So I want to make one more valve a tube. That way, I only crystallize the essentia I want. So we'll just make a quick lever and just quickly make one. There we go. And then we can place it. And then we could put the crystallizer there. And as you can see, it started crystallizing. Definitely want to close that for now because I don't have anything to catch that. But there we go. So that's then I'm going to crystallize the Essentia in this Alembic and then I can just move it up and move. I want to make one for each Alembic, but for now I can just move this up and down to each Alembic that's holding something. And that's really, really good. So that's a good step in Thumbcraft that we need to make. Uh, between this episode and next episode, I want to see what I, I'll see what else I want to do in Thomcraft to progress what I can plan for the episode and of course in between episodes I will continue working on expanding that reactor because I want that to get bigger I'm gonna keep uh, grinding out this farm so I can get the remaining three precharger uh, laser drills and that way we can hopefully start getting ores automatically because that will be that'll be a huge achievement to get ores just auto mine ores will be huge but, uh, let's see, is that last cyanide done? No, okay. Still running. That's perfectly fine. But, with all that being said, guys, uh, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are down below in the description. And be sure to join the Nerd Herd Discord. That, too, is also linked down below. But, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.